Ramayana Part 26 Shurpanakhi Some years passed one day as they were all sitting in the hut a rakshasi Shurpanakhi by name came that way Shurpanakhi was the step sister of Ravana the ruler of Lanka in other words she was the daughter of Ravana's step mother in one corner of Dandakaranya was a region known as Janasthana it was a part of ravana's reign ravana had stationed his step brothers khara and dushana there with a big army for the defense of janasthana shurpanaki lived with her brothers shurpanaki was very cruel by nature she delighted in harassing people she was very ugly but she had the power of putting whatever form she pleased she saw sri rama in panchavati He was handsome and well built and she was attracted to him she came up to him and asked who are you why have you come here who are these two with you sri rama answered according to his simple nature and told her who they were shurpanaki said sri rama i have a desire fulfill it i am attracted to you marry me her words amused sri rama He wished to have some sport. He said to her, "Shurpanaki, I am sworn to have only one wife, so I cannot have another wife. But ask my brother." Shurpanaki came up to Lakshmana and asked him to marry her. He burst into a laughter. Shurpanaki was enraged. She understood that they were making fun of her. She said, "Oh, you! Are you making me a butt of ridicule?" are you i will teach you a lesson all this trouble is caused by this woman here isn't it i will eat her she then rushed towards sita lakshmana then realized the threat he caught hold of her and cut off her ears and nose screaming dreadfully shurpanaki ran towards the janasthana which was in another corner of the forest to complain to her brother khara when he saw her with her ears and nose cut off kara angrily roared sister who brought you to this state tell me at once i shall dispatch them to the land of death shurpanaki narrated all that had happened kara summoned 14 of his chief generals and sent them with shurpanaki his orders were kill rama and bring his head they all came to panchavati they rained arrows on sri rama Sri Rama saw the 14 generals and Shurpanaki who was with them he understood the situation before beginning the fight he said to them who are you why are you employing weapons here we are tapasvis and adhere to the path of righteousness why do you trouble us i am not afraid of you if you wish to fight i am ready but i am giving you advice lest you should all die needlessly The Rakshasas replied, "We are the generals of Khara. This Shurpanaki is the sister of Khara. You have cut off her ears and nose and disfigured her. Our master Khara is therefore enraged. Can we let you go unpunished? If you have the strength, fight with us." So saying, they started the fight. They had very powerful weapons. Weapons so powerful that the antagonists would be reduced to ashes and the entire army would be annihilated. But Sri Rama overcame them all with his arrows. He fixed 14 arrows, all as powerful as the sun, to his bow and let them all fly simultaneously. The Rakshasas were crushed, screaming wildly. They all fell to the ground and died. the sight stunned shurpanaki screaming dreadfully she ran to her brother and reported to him what had happened he was furious he could not believe that a mere human being could overpower formidable rakshasas very well i shall teach him a lesson he said and summoned his younger brother dushana who was a commander of his forces and another general trishira he set out with them and a force of 14000 brutal and powerful soldiers the army of the rakshasa armed with weapons of different types set out with much fanfare and shouting they were unfavorable omens as they advanced but 
the arrogant kara ignored them and marched on he reached panchavati gods assembled in the skies to watch this battle between truth and untruth between righteousness and unrighteousness and between peace and cruelty sri rama saw kara and his army and said to lakshmana lakshmana this seems to be shurpanaki's brother he has now marched against me i have decided that i myself will kill this rakshasa so take janaki with you and go far from here lakshmana obeyed his brother without a word sri rama put on his armor took up his formidable kodanda and twanged the bow string the gods the rishis and the gandharvas who had assembled to watch this battle cried may victory favor the virtuous may dharma win they were apprehensive as sri rama was to fight single handed against an army of 14000 the fierce army rushed at sri rama sri rama's eyes spit fire kara began with a thousand arrows all of which he shot together at the same time with his fierce bow sri rama cut them all into pieces the rakshasa sent forth arrows of different types but sri rama cut them also into pieces the enraged rakshasas assaulted sri rama the huge army which comprised horses and elephants also surrounded sri rama but he broke the arrows into smithereens the weapons shot by the rakshasas fell to the ground broken even before they reached sri rama at the same time sri rama's arrows took heavy toll of whole sections of the rakshasa army once sri rama roared like a lion and fixed a gandharvastra to his bowstring and shot it at once thousands of arrows leapt from the bow and began to massacre the rakshasas the arrows seemed to fill the entire sky all the rakshasas who had accompanied kara barring a few who were lying injured were now dead at the sight of the innumerable rakshasas lying dead dushana and trishira felt humiliated together they fought valiantly against sri rama but both were killed and fell to the ground kara was now bursting with anger some fear also clouded him almost his entire army had been wiped out he was alone yet unyielding he faced sri rama he rained arrows on sri rama some of them reached sri rama's forehead his armor was broken by some arrows sri rama then strung the vaishnava bow which had been gifted by sage agastya and assailed kara he cut the banner on his chariot he killed the horse and the charioteer he broke kara's bow kara then threw away his bow and jumped down from his chariot his mace in his hand sri rama addressed kara who was now standing on the ground armed with his mace you rakshasa without reason you have brought your army here and are fighting this is unrighteous you who act against the interests of your subjects do not deserve to live you should not be allowed to live but should be killed you should be exterminated like a serpent which has crept into the house livid with rage kara hurled his mace at sri rama sri rama aimed arrows at the mace which was whirling and advancing towards him he shot the arrows at the mace the mace was broken in the air and fell down in pieces this added fuel to the fury of kara he uprooted a sala tree which grew nearby and hurled it at sri rama sri rama cut it too and felled it he decided that kara should no longer be permitted to live and shot an arrow which was equal to brahmas the weapon struck kara's chest the rakshasa fell to the ground with an unearthly yell and died the gods cried out in joy the munis came up to sri rama and said sri rama a dreadful danger has been eliminated hereafter we can engage in our sacrifices untroubled sita and lakshmana too arrived and eulogized sri rama's greatness they all spent the day happily